Dead cells. In a way that you've never seen it before. Number one, it's a viewer build. Percy of Robin LTW over on Twitch. If you haven't seen the live stream, twitch.tv slash v.me, same spelling as the YouTube channel. The build, do I have a preset? Yeah, we do. The build is something that I 100% have not played in a long, long time. We have Gilded Yumi, known as an item that has been buffed in the last couple updates. Supposedly it's OP, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it. We also have War Javelin. Something that I do use every now and then, but I haven't really used it in a while. Honestly, whenever I use War Javelin, it is not in a tactics build, funny enough. I use it more off color than actually on color, which is really weird. Um, and then Wolf Trap. Very difficult to use Wolf Trap with Gilded Yumi, but that's not what it's there for. What it's really there for is this Rouge the Bat thrown ad nauseum at the enemy. I want to say everything else is locked in. No legendaries. It's all good. I have to change my outfit too. Yo, welcome to the YouTube folks. Duolingo, welcome. Heizo, welcome. Omni, Guy, Shade. Good to see all of you. Gildi Yumi is good, I swear. Before its ability as a legendary gave it double ammo. It has double ammo now, right? I think Gilded Yumi may be the only exception of not being allowed double ammo. And everything else has it now. Uh, we need some drip. We'll go back to Old Faithful. I can't use Cell every single day. Let's try Glitch. And then we'll bring in speedrun timer. Not really that we have to go in a speedrun fashion, but it's kind of good for me to keep up with our times. All right, it's our Pete and good to see you. The head and skin combo is nice. I can't wait for you all on mobile and console to get this. Like, not only is it really cool to look at, but the actual challenge of unlocking them. Some of them are really good. I could have done Javelin first, but Gilded Yumi should actually kill things. They die to the door? <laughs> Am I the only one who didn't know that? So I had Javelin for a second. So ideally, Knockback Shield is going to go in the backpack. Javelin is going to be in the Y button. And then we should be good from there. I don't actually know what monsters to fight either. You could go Conjunctivious. I'm actually super curious if Gilded Yumi crits on Mama Tick. Toxicity, we'll take that. I actually have no idea if it does. What happened to BC climbing? I think we hit our peak. Oh, the other thing that happened to BC climbing was that they changed the routing. So previously we had things like distillery mandatory. And now that you can get to Dracula from High Peak Castle, I don't like the idea of distillery being mandatory. See, that was probably where you're supposed to use Javelin. When the wind-up is a little too much. Uh, don't worry about the cheese yet. But yeah, the BC climbing experiment we did was super fun. I'm, I'm happy you all liked it so much. 
worse. There it is. Alright. How do you get this bow? Please tell me. Gilded Yumi comes from the servants. If you've not been to the servants yet, or if you only went there one time, that's self synergy on that Gilded Yumi. Second hit guaranteed to kill somebody. Uh, Promenade. I think Arboretum would be better here. And then we can test out if this works with Mama Tick or not. I kind of want to see Bat Volley against Mama Tick too. I have a sneaking suspicion, and like I don't have to go here to get to Mama Tick. I really just need to get to Prison Depths. Wow, we didn't get the 30. Oh yeah, the other thing we're doing, I almost forgot. Okay, so not only are we doing a viewer build, we're also only going into the Curse Incentive maps. If you have not seen Curse Incentive, that means you're probably not on the beta for Dead Cells, which has been in beta for a while. Hopefully by the time that this video goes public, the patch will be public. Probably not, because it's gonna be same day, right? Uh, give me... I wonder how this works. So, Gilded Yumi, it hits the first target. I don't think it pierces automatically. I think you have to get it to pierce. But if one enemy knocks into the other enemy, do they get networking? Something got networking there. I don't have pierce. That's super interesting. Okay, <laughs> don't press Y, by the way. Skull, wow. I literally just said don't press the Y button, but I guess that worked. I have a lot of hours in this game, but still to this day, I do stuff that I never experience. Uh, I don't really need this, I think. What could be in there, though, is a challenge rift, so I probably should do the doors. Wow, right over its head. If an enemy gets knocked into an enemy, they both take damage. Yeah, so with networking, they share damage too. So my hope is that they double dip the damage. Does that make sense? Wow. Gotta be careful with this. Of course, if I only have one enemy, it doesn't really matter. Can I do this? Wow, it actually worked. I wasn't paying attention, my bad. That's super funny. Now, as you see, Gilded Yumi is a little slow. And some monsters have a low profile, so I have to duck shoot it. Not to be confused with duck shot. Or duck game. I don't get to use Gilded Yumi very often. So I'm like... I'm live learning this as we go. It's very interesting. I'm dead here. Oh my god, I knew it. As soon as I hit the bat button, I remembered that there was a plant trap below me.
little bit of greed. I'll admit it. Oh, look, we're going back to Arboretum. It's pretty good. Now, have we learned our lesson? Yeah, maybe. Just don't do that exact same thing and we'll be fine. As I said, I have a lot of hours in this game. I already know when I'm gonna die. That's how deep we're in. Okay, everything up there died, which is nice. Maybe we'll do Armadillo Pack first. That seems smart to me. Um, if I miss any questions, by the way, feel free to repeat them. I, I do apologize. The chat's moving, which is great. Happy to see everyone here. Hope you're having a good new year. Did you run through the wolf trap? Where's the wolf trap? It's interesting. Does Gilded Yumi destroy wolf trap? Oh, that's not gonna work. Yes? What's the best non-DLC weapon for early game in Dead Cells? If you have melee mutation, I actually want to say Balance Blade. Balance Blade, I think, is a default weapon, right? And melee mutation just helps it work so much easier than playing it by itself. For tactics... Oh my god. For tactics, I um I haven't really been using Quick Bow all that much recently. Instead, I've been using a lot of stuff that isn't a bow at all. So things like Boyax, which is from the caverns. Molotov, Kunai. All of that like kind of like instant throw stuff. Money Shooter, Yeetables. I like really value that ease of use. Wow. Went through the door, killed whatever was on the other side. Rip. I didn't know that bats were weak to doors. Is Zubat weak to Sudo Wudo? Does anybody know? There's gotta be at least one person who's a Pokemon main. Could be playing Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke right now. Rock. Oh yeah, Sudowoodo is a rock. That's right. It's like a mimic. Back when Pokemon was still good. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I, I don't know new Pokemon. Um. What's unfortunate is we lost such a good Gilded Yumi earlier. Poison on hit, bonus damage to poison target. Just want to grab this food and peace out. Going back to Arboretum. Back for the curse. Should be a teleporter over here. I don't necessarily need to full clear the map because we already saw the challenge rift. There's only going to be one. Um, what I do get out of full clearing is my malaise cleansed. But I should be fine.
My first win was with Explosive Crossbow. I was playing Explosive... Wow, I'm down two. I just needed two more monsters to get the door. It's unlucky. All right. I'm going to trust that the War Javelin shows up. And then the shield goes in the backpack. Why don't I always share streams to YouTube? YouTube likes it when you actually have a plan. Believe it or not, not every stream I do has an actual plan tied to it. Sometimes I just play whatever game I feel like and YouTube doesn't really make sense for that format. Does that make sense? Like you go to YouTube to find a specific video, not to just have someone be live doing just anything. That's a pretty good way to interrupt a monster. Just throw the javelin at it. It's almost like a stun grenade. Wow. Almost died. Almost died the exact same way as last time. Hmm. Pretty good at the javelin, if I do say so myself. If you don't almost kill yourself with the javelin, are you really playing it? That was a javelin moment. It was like a little bit too slow to do Gilded Yumi there. All that for the one poisoning trap. The trap was good, though. Yeah, I'm playing the beta version of this patch right now. Um, you all do not have the ability to edit your head, except for Bobby head on console. But rest assured that this is what you have to look forward to. This kind of drip. Get yeeted. I'm dead. Never mind. So, this monster right here, this is called the Sore Loser. It doesn't attack you. Wow, I didn't get cursed. So, that whole segment was to say if you kill it, it will curse you with three curse. And it, in fact, did not do that at all. Because I think the one enemy bounced into the other enemy and didn't count against me. Just very interesting. Wow, that destroys your wolf trap. Fatality. Except it lived, which is very, very scary. Um, the weapon in my secondary spot is War Javelin, which comes from caverns. I don't use it very often as like an actual attack weapon. What I use it for is almost like a mobile stun grenade. It does a very good job. Why are these so tanky? A very good job at keeping enemies at bay. Huh. Ah. Don't see that every day. This has a legendary. Okay, this has to go. Oh, not a legendary. It was actually a scroll. Typically, those aren't on an elite monster. 
So very surprised to see that. Okay. You think the networking was helping? Well, I think the armadillo pack is required. It is really cool to hear that the um, the networking was doing something, though. That makes me feel pretty good about it. Uh, folks over on the Twitch side, can you do X Mage Point BOTD? I think there were some mutations that may have been requested. I don't remember. That's another monster that curses you. It doesn't hurt you, but what it does do is it stuns you. Gilded Yumi, War Javelin, Knockback, Armadillo Pack. Okay, so no, uh... Ooh, makes the victim bleed on the bat? Is that lore? Is that cannon? I've never seen that before. Okay, we got our 60. Couple scroll fragments, couple more monsters. Another really good use of shield is being able to knock away a mushroom boy that's flying at you. Forty percent bonus damage. We'll take that. The rest of the map's good. Do backpack mutations work off color? Yes. Um, in fact, I'll often use acrobat pack while playing survival or brutality when I'm using something like boy axe or throwing knife. Honestly, the most dangerous curse monster seems to be the sore loser, I think. Like, just the idea that you not so much randomly got cursed, but you definitely weren't prepared to get cursed. That seems to be very, very dangerous. Why did you aggro me? Um, you also may be wondering why my malaise is so high. Because I'm playing with the speedrun timer turned on, we essentially have never-ending malaise. It doesn't end until we uh, cleanse the map. Definitely not intended. But it adds a little bit of difficulty to the game for me. We did the same thing for the BC climbing, for those who were here for that. Legendary. Can't take it, unfortunately. There's a bat volley below. I think we cleansed the map. It doesn't really look like we did, right? Um, shops. There are no food shops. So at best, it would be like a challenge rift inside these doors. Might be okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 21 BC when? Like I said, I, I enjoyed that segment. What I'm really looking for is this update to go live. I won't need to be doing any uh, BC climbing stuff while... We're working on like new content. What's the timer in the top left? That's our time. Our current runtime. Is it world record breaking? No. But it gives us a little bit to um think about. I actually did a poll on YouTube asking what your average runtime is. And I think the majority of the winners were like one hour, like 50 minutes plus at least. Okay, let's not die. Oh my god.
So it's really interesting. That new monster is aggroing us from far range. And with all this malaise, it's actually dragging more monsters to me. Very, very scary. Ah, I wish that worked so bad. Uh, we'll let you change. So yeah, now we almost have to use the War Javelin. Just to make sure I get a chance to play the game. Yo, Joker with the T1 23. Happy 2024. Same to you. Happy 23 as well. Though you might want to be out of 23. Thank you for that. That's almost two years of support. Speaking of support, I think I can gift subs on YouTube. I'm going to have to try that today because it, it didn't work the last time we tried it. All right. Don't do bat volley while cursed. I'm just going to straight up say that. Just don't ever press the bat volley button while cursed. This is like unusually difficult, right? Is it fair to say that? And maybe it has something to do with the... Was that eight malaise right now? Seven malaise? This seems harder than it should be. What would be really nice is if I could use... Wow, I still got cursed. It must have died to the arrow. And not the other body flying into it. Usually, I'm a lot more verbal... Uh, when playing Dead Cells, but this is... Uh... It's kind of high level, I feel. This is a viewer build, by the way. So someone told me to play this. And now I'm wondering, like, is, is this right? Did they know this is going to be how it works? Because this seems extra difficult. <laughs> Like, almost unnecessarily so. Yeah, I'm dialed in. I'm always dialed in. Except for when I'm ready to troll or do a bit. High level weapons? Yeah, this map is supposed to give us one level higher for whatever weapon we find. Maybe at max one higher level. That was definitely not higher level. Um, don't worry about that. No teleport. We're gonna get the cheese. We're gonna get the shop. See if the shop has a level 9 gilded Yumi. Um, Moras incentive, which is exactly where I want to go. I passed the thing so bad for time. Don't tell GDQ, please. Get good moment. I've been having so many get good moments. I've been putting them on YouTube shorts lately. Um, where I've been having people tell me, like, did I deserve to get hit? And I would say 99% of the time, people say, yes, I deserve whatever happened to me. And in my head cannon, they actually have no idea what they're looking at. But they're just putting in, yes, you deserved it, because they they figured it's funny. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. 
better than no response. Okay. Is in this near out? No, it's not out. This is still beta. All right. Uh, so third mutation. I think it's tranquility. There's a small argument for parting gift, but we found out that parting gift doesn't do a lot of damage, period. Just very unfortunate. Like, imagine you yeet the enemies into each other. One of them dies, the other does not. It drops a parting gift bomb, and then that kills the, the monster that lived. But it just doesn't do enough damage, unfortunately. I wish it did. Oh, not what Wolf Trap was for. AV hey, can Gilded Yumi combine with ammo? No. It used to be able to, right? And then they gave it to ammo by default. I think there's a big balance issue where if you have it with ammo, some bosses can't play the game anymore. If you have it over two ammo, that is. Two shots. Nice block. You can have my spear. I don't need it. So yeah, this is curse incentive. The same monsters are on this map too. Very easy to die. I got cursed. Because I must have hit a sword loser. That's kind of nutty, huh? I literally shot into the darkness and I got cursed. Just bought Dead Cells for PC? Yo, let's go. Tell the devs I sent you. Unless I didn't send you at all. But maybe put in a good word for me. I should have taken that. Misericord? I don't know if I can read that without dying. <laughs> I, I want to read your chats. Trust me, I do. I think I almost got swiped in the face. Um, the game's not really letting me read your chats, unfortunately. Blame them, not me. Uh, let's buy this. Calm the map down a little bit. Really, I like to say that you know you're on a good pace depending on your malaise. I still got cursed. You know what else is saving me here? Gilded Yumi has victims slow down nearby enemies. I think without that, I would have gotten hit by the uh, spearmen. Fight that. The elites lower our malaise. Have to go this way anyway for the uh the doohickey, the scroll fragment. Oh, this is what war javelin is for. To stop that from happening. Level 10. But we have 40% bonus, and we have Victim Slow, so I can't just trade. Missed a portal at the top. What's up, V? What's up right back to you? Happy New Year, everybody. Big thanks for everyone tuning in today. You could be watching anything. You could be watching someone playing Diablo 4. 
you be watching some Tarkov. Tarkov new. Do they call them seasons? I don't think they do. But that's out. But you're here. That thing shot behind me. Uh, I'm like constantly getting shot at. While also having to dodge slashers and rampagers and bombers, axe throwers. Sometimes there's darkness, so I can't see. Still better than update 1.2. I guess it's like harder for different reasons, I suppose. One is hard because it's literally hard. The other one is maybe just jank. To go this way first. Make sure it's not another curse. It's not. Interesting. Watching grass grow the game. Are you in Australia? Maybe you're in Sao Paulo. Because ain't no <laughs> grass growing right now. Oh wait, that is a game. Grass growing. I think I remember watching Lyric play it. You could be a rock. Can someone explain what's happening? We're doing Dead Cells. Um, with a viewer build. So someone requested this build to me. And then also, we're trying to go for every curse incentive. So far, we haven't missed one. I think the only way we might miss one is if we do bank. So this may be a no bank run, just to keep up with the theme. War Javelin pretty good at killing small fry. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. That works. Alright, okay. So no curse. It's good. If we can get a level 10 gilded Yumi that does victim slow, I think I'll actually take it. Ooh. So I have a bug controller. It just used Wolf Trap and my bats at the same time when I didn't want it to. Might be a problem at some point. We'll leave that for future V.me to deal with. So our bats makes victim bleed. It's very, very cool. But it is pretty low level. Generates a shield while using it. Eh, we should. Double damage. Okay. Good thing I grabbed that. Alright. Did we cleanse the map? Devs, if you're out there... I really, really need to be able to see if I cleanse the map. Because right now, like, yes, the malaise bar isn't moving. But as you get closer to a cleansed map, it's not going to move very much. And, like, I'm basically losing time by staring at the bar, seeing if it's actually going to do anything. All right. How do you decide if a build is good enough to go to bank? Unfortunately, I often go to bank without the build being good enough. Um, I know for a fact that I'm rolling the die. And I'm prepared to lose when I go there. That being said, if I have crowd control, stun grenade, root grenade, ice grenade, I think I'll go there almost all the time. And I will only save those grenades for a gold gorger. Outside of that, if like I don't already have what I think is a top 
10 build, it's a coin flip. I'm like really try harding. And sometimes I'll force the mimic shop. And by force, I mean like if it's an item that I even am considering using, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Or at least do the mimic check. Um, this is not great. Oh my god. Rip no hit. That's what I get for pressing the bat button. Wow, I stopped Mama Tick from going down there. Even for like half a second. I went the wrong way. Ammo? I could have gotten the no hit if I tried a little harder. Not a big deal. Uh, no, thank you. We got the victim slow, but it's not stronger. It's actually weaker, even though it's higher level. Thanks to that 40%. Gilded Yumi in this ammo economy? I think I'm supposed to throw the javelin. I'm supposed to know that I'm out of ammo and then press Y button. And that gives me enough time to let the ammo come back. Um, I don't want to say that's too high IQ for me. No incentive. Still village for money incentive. I'm a little poor. <laughs> Interesting. Sure. We're already here. Now, the only issue with this is it might destroy all the rest of the incentives for the game. Um, which is, like, fair, because you're going to bank anyway. You might get something even stronger than an incentive's going to give you. Yeah, so the next areas from bank, zero incentives. I guess we're like pretty close to the end of the game anyway, so maybe it's not that big a deal. Do I have any advice for the Conjunctivious and Mama Tick Flawless without a shield? Um... Conjunctivious is really weak to Wolf Trap. If you're able to go in there with a Wolf Trap and then something that will burst her down... Sometimes you can even skip the ad phase. If the weapons are strong enough. It's really, really strong. Is that networking? Mama Tick without a shield. Sometimes it's as easy as roll into the wall. That's still a little bit of a coin flip. The devs swear that you will never have um, two tentacle spikes in one spot. But I swear I've done the dodge roll into the wall and then still got spiked right after. Like, I, I can almost promise you it's happened, but maybe that's just anecdotal. Yo, Gooseman, six months. Three more to be a newborn. Hope you're ready. Thank you for that ongoing support. One year over on Twitch. For those over on the YouTube side, YouTube has memberships. You can do kind of the same thing. Wow, I did not want to do that wolf trap into a bat volley. <laughs> Are you winning, son? I heal here. I just wanted the flaming trail because it seemed good. 
What kind of items would burst down the conjunctivius with wolf trap? Heavy crossbow. Maybe not nutcracker, but maybe death scythe could do it. If you have support mutation. Money shooter. Money shooter will absolutely destroy it with wolf trap. Like, I would bet money <laughs> that money shooter would work. Oh, the other really good thing about Mama Tick. For getting the no hit. Anything that can push Mama Tick, including Spartan Sandals. Very good in that fight. Because Mama Tick can be pushed, like, very, very easily and it'll cancel almost all her combat. Trying to be extra safe here. Though the faster I go, the safer this is because the monsters are still slowed. It's really when I stop and do stuff that I get in danger. There we go. Um, I'll take the health for now. Until a double tactics thing shows up. Wow. Little party down here. I hate these little fake Gillian things. Like... Whoever was on the dev team for Monster Design, Monster Design Dev was cracked when they made these monsters for the bank. Like, I don't know what games they were playing, what movies they were watching. My hope is that the devs weren't sitting on these kind of monsters forever. Like, oh, we always wanted to add Evil Gillian and Gold Gorger. We just needed the map to do it. We always knew we were going to have a monster that had three forms, got super strong, and then stole all your money. As well as another monster that can jump on you, can jump off platforms to reach you, can turn around and smack you. We already got the Mimic on this map, too. Interesting. Like, bats that explode into gold. I feel like that's not too difficult to dream up. But if you were to ask me, V, like, what kind of monster would you make in Dead Cells? It'd just be like a, a zombie. <laughs> I don't have as much creativity as the people who came up with Gold Gorger and Evil Gillian. Least favorite enemy? Um... I don't know if I have a least favorite, because to me, what that means is that there's an enemy that I don't like from a design standpoint. If you were to ask, like, what's the scariest enemy? Like, you're walking up through a biome. What's the first monster that would actually scare the crap out of you? I think it's the bird. Cannibal is up there pretty highly, but... I think if there was anything that would cause for a new uh, pair of pants, if you know what I mean, a random bird just appears on top of you. Tier 3 Gold Gorger, sure. Like, I, I get it. But that's like... Oh, I guess I'm dead. Kind of scenario. I'm not scared of that. I've already accepted I'll die. But a random bird out of nowhere? 
that's a jump scare to me. It's like now I have to think about all these different ways that it's gonna hit me where I could have sworn I had it, right? Jeez, I used the bats and it actually gave me the shield and protected me. But still, probably not the right play. Did I not get the teleporter? I didn't. It's unfortunate. What about golems? Yeah, golem is up there. For some reason, I always forget about the original golem. I don't know why. Maybe I just don't go slumbering enough. Spiny? Ramus? Shoutouts to Arcane Season 2 coming out. I don't really have issues with that anymore. I guess I used to as a newer player, but I think I'm fine. As you all can see, oh snap! No! We're fine. I thought the bats got me killed. Why did it teleport to me in the first place? Like, does it not walk? That's like pretty sick. The only enemy in the game that will actively choose to teleport to you instead of walking to you. You're on the same platform. I'm not that far. So this is Celeste. I don't think we need to do Celeste. Wow, Wolf Trap killed those by itself. That's the power of poisoning Wolf Trap. Generate a toxic cloud around it. If you ever need to play Wolf Trap, make sure it has that. You okay, buddy? What in the world happened? Floating books in Astrolab? That's Shantae. Um, I really don't have to do the left side of the map. I'm going to do it anyway. Just because I am enjoying myself and you all are here. So I'm going to make sure you all get a full show. 40 minutes. V. GDQ win. I know. I know. We're killing right now. Dang. Oh, we're fine. Is the networking kind of hitting? I wish I realistically knew what kind of damage it did. Are we doing a boss next? No. Uh, one of the other games that came out this year, Astral Ascent. Shouts to those who are here to watch Astral Ascent on the YouTube or Twitch channel. They added a DPS count. And I almost wonder, like, do we need a DPS count in Dead Cells? One that tells you, like, at the end of the game how well a certain weapon did. So it's like, how much damage did Wolf Trap do? How much damage did Bat Volley do? And how many times did I press the button? 4 networking. How much damage did networking do? How much damage did support actually add to my build? How much damage did tranquility actually add to my build? Like, maybe I was actually close range the entire time. Without realizing it. I think that stuff could be super interesting. Is there a mod for that in Dead Cells? I don't think so. Dead Souls does not have very many mods. The infrastructure just isn't there. Um, you'll see a lot of music packs, costume packs. 
um some weapon tweaks but that's because the weapon already exists but as far as like custom content goes there's very very little for dead cells i wish there was though honestly all right um incentive no incentive because i genuinely think it's broken once you go into bank uh we can do we can't do scarecrow the gilded yumi is a little too slow for that so i'll do timekeeper and then i can go wherever i want from here yumi very good against timekeeper undying locks me out of timekeeper not a good i mean not a bad map for gilded yumi but Scarecrow is not a good fight for this. Have you tried running with all modifiers turned on? I want to say the answer is no. People have asked me to do it before, but my issue with it was that adaptation's broken. And by broken, I mean... It doesn't work fully. Um, it doesn't take your forge into account. So what adaptation does is it changes your weapon into a random weapon. So right now I have Gilded Yumi. When I go into the next biome, it might change to Quick Bow or something like that. Unfortunately, it'll go from a rank S quick uh rank S Gilded Yumi to a rank one. Not even plus, not even plus plus. A rank zero quick bow. And like, could you upgrade it? Yes. But I don't want to upgrade every single transition room. I'm already at 43 minutes. Imagine if I had to spend time actually using the forge. Unlucky. That destroyed all my bats. All right. After the sin that's taking over your life, Cali is so much fun. It's a great game. Um, I mean, I'm working on my last true victory. I need an Isla win. If I can get that, then I would consider my runs of Ashla Ascent a success. I really hope more people get into that game. Um, but if anything, Oblivion Override and Blaze Blue Entropy Effect both come out in January. So we'll be there too. I want this place right here, like this channel, to be your destination for action roguelikes. I don't want you to even think of V.me play the game. I guarantee he played it. How could he not? Oh, and not only did he play the game, I want you all to think of me as like the guy. Like, oh yeah, I could watch a first look of Ashla Scent, but if I want to see some high level Ashla Scent, I gotta go to B.me. Uh, we'll go right. Have I checked out Risk of Rain Returns? I did. I have a few wins in it. It's not a bad game, it just doesn't hit the same way things like Dead Cells does for me. You know what I think it is? I think I need games with like acrobatics to it. And what I mean by that is you might see me do some like kind of cool gameplay. I, I hope my gameplay is cool. And I don't think you can do that in Risk of Rain Returns. At best, you just have good DPS and good positioning. But I can't like wall run initiate the attack animation of gilded yumi mid jump upward toss down wolf trap roll backward throw this roll forward jump up aim left jump up aim left i can't do that in risk of rain returns versus the first ever rogue light 
I'm gonna assume people would say Rogue Legacy, but I don't know if there was something before that. I'm not really here for roguelike history. I would leave that to like another YouTuber to handle. But for roguelike combos, busted build makers, stuff like that, that's more my jam, I think. That's more my strong suit. Huh. I should have just thrown Javelin. I know that thing's faster than me. I don't know why I even bother checking it. Check this for Challenge Rift. How do you get the bell tower key? You have to hit every bell. On the map. There's four. I feel like it got nerfed, so you only really have to hit all four. But you can't do it until you get... 3 BC. At least that was how it was in the past. They may have already gotten rid of that too. But in the past, you needed 3 BC to access one of the bells. See, like, I can't do that in Risk of Rain Returns. That kind of movement, it just doesn't exist there. I don't want to say it's as simple as I need a game with a dodge roll. I sincerely hope it's more complex than that. Like, Rogue Legacy 2 doesn't really have a dodge roll to it, and I'd rather play Rogue Legacy 2 than play Risk of Rain Returns. How many hours do I have in Risk of Rain Returns? I'll tell you both. This is how you do a YouTube live stream right here. Open up Steam. I can't show you this, I guess. Actually, maybe... Hang on, hang on. Maybe I can show you all something. Firefox. Steam. B.me. Games. Ah! I'm sad. All right, Risk of Rain returns. 21 hours. Risk of Rain 2, 137 hours. If that gives you any indication of uh, how much I've done. All right, sorry, just wanna check one quick thing. Before we keep going. According to YouTube, I should be able to gift memberships in my own channel. And I have not figured out how to do it yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I think this is it. Hang on, hang on. It's acting like I'm not even logged into my own channel. Okay, I've never done this before. Wow, it actually works. That's legit. So channel members get emotes. Eventually I wanna try doing members only actual videos, which would be like behind the scenes stuff. I 
don't know if anyone who actually got a gift member is in the chat right now. If you if you are, let me know that you got it. I think you'll have a little badge next to your name too. I've never seen it before, so it'd be really cool to see how it looks. Not luck, just skill. Ren, did you get one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except I gotta figure out... Maybe I need new badges. No, you have a rusty dagger. That's really cool. About to pull out mom's credit card? I just did. You two told me that those are supposed to be free, and they definitely weren't. I'm gonna have to apologize to my mom. All right, this should be easy clap. Unlucky. I really wanted to no hit on this. I feel so bad. Oh, I guess we we're gonna fail it anyway because she didn't go in wolf trap. See, you gotta be like a next level Gilded Yumi expert to play this. Give me like 10 more hours of Gilded Yumi in the lab. And I promise you, it'll be nothing but no hits. 100%. Chat. What Yo, what Ink! Happened? What happened? First ever Prime, welcome to uh, Rusty Daggerhood, along with all the other YouTube folks. Incentive? Ooh. How many was that? Wait. That was like a billion incentives. High Peak, Shipwreck, and Distillery. Not gonna lie, I really think servants wouldn't be like awful take off networking go a disengage for the climb bats would be really bad in that fight i think i auto lose like i really would only be doing damage with gilded yumi and that's it We're freaking dead. We're freaking dead. Ain't no way. This is the worst idea. It's not that servants are too hard for this. It's just that... A, I'm using Gilded Yumi when I don't typically do it. On paper, it sounds like it would be good. But you're riding on a super thin line of two ammo. Plus wolf trap. And begging that the ra the bats. I almost said rats, but I guess that's close enough. Do something. I guess that's how you're supposed to use the bats. Cast them early, then just run with them. See? Risk of Rain Returns doesn't have that kind of gameplay, right? I could be wrong. Maybe 20 hours isn't enough to really get invested. Psych your mind. Servants are very frustrating. No, oh, no doubt they can be. I'm not going to claim myself as like a never damage taken versus servants kind of guy. Hey, I guess you're gonna stay up there. At this point, like, I... I know a lot more than I used to. To be competitive. But that's still not to say that I'm gonna have a guaranteed dub. Played yourself.
Okay. Sorry, I'm in the zone right now. I, I don't want to die before I get to servants. It's very possible. Uh, Toxic Cloud? Is it more damage? It is. Let's, um, let's wait, though. I'm gonna want that for the actual servant fight, but... We want the victim slow right now. So, chat, remember that's there. Write that down. That's a Halian line. Jeez. Servants feel over height and difficulty. I think the queen is harder. I think the queen can kill very well. She's excellent at doing that. And probably servants is more of a get good than queen is. Probably. Maybe. But what I will say is that I have died to the servants quite a bit. Were those all my fault? Maybe. I like to give them some credit. Does this work? I think I heard it. I was almost of the belief that that thing is immune to wolf trap. Oh, we could use the bats. What am I doing? Bats were made for murder bridge. Uh, doesn't help Cleo isn't on the screen half the time. Yeah, you tear up is the bow one. That's more of the climb than anything else. Unless you mean like trying to damage all of them is difficult. Because she just won't stay still. You're not wrong. Uh, for those here for the first time, I do want to say welcome. If you found your way here without being a subscriber of mine that's incredible thank you youtube we do a lot of action roguelikes you dead cells is just one of my uh many in my repertoire at least i like the claim and trust me there are a lot of these kind of games we did a segment for Twitch. Um, when was that? Tuesday, I believe. Where we looked at all of the action roguelikes that came out and had like um, over 1,000 reviews, I think was the, the number we came up with. And there were 1,000 releases for action roguelike with 1,000 plus reviews. No, I think that was just action roguelike tag in general, not the number of reviews. Because we were only looking at top 10. Um, but the year prior, 2022, there were only 582 games with action roguelike tag. Now, it could be you can say, well, yeah, V, there's a bunch of devs out there that just put the tag on their game where it's not an action roguelike at all. But... 582 to 1,000 in one year is incredible. Even if some of those games aren't what we would know as an action roguelike, even if half of those were Vampire Survivors likes, that's double the amount of games that someone considers to be in the same category as a Dead Cells or as a Hades. You almost bought Death or Treat. You can still buy it. I'm not going to tell someone to not buy it. 
I just want to articulate some of the um, things I saw. Maybe one day a dev will look at it and say, yo, he, he hooked us up. Do like our good buddy SD89 and say that we remove the blinders. All the dev sees is like getting the game out the door, but they may not see is where the fun is. Hard. Hard being a dev, I'm sure. Um, someone asked about keyboard versus controller. Um, I don't know if one is harder than the other. All I will say is that a lot of the speedrunners that I like to watch for Dead Cells, they all use keyboard and mouse. Meanwhile, a lot of the content creators I like to see for Dead Cells, a lot of them use controller. I'm sure there's people out there using fight sticks. I think Black Tastic uses a fight stick for um, Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night. I don't really have to kill all this stuff, just to say that. In fact, me even bothering with these is a chance to die. I would like to cleanse the map. If possible. Yeah, we know it's not cleansed because monsters are still spawning. So it can't be much longer. Murder Bridge. Nice. So there's our cleanse. We have a shop. Last shop of the game. Um. Could use new bats. Hopefully ones that have shielding. Toxic Cloud Wolf Trap, that's good too. Have a lot of money. Volley of Arrows. Maybe that can turn into shielding? Probably should have taken it, right? No way there's not another bat in here. You know what? The vampire bats came back. The human sized bat from Kuba. I think that was where that was, right? Shoutouts if you even remotely know what I'm talking about. All right. Um. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the poison cloud Yumi. You're right. Almost forgot about that. It just helps to lay down damage. Um, we have Flaming Trail on the War Javelin, so I don't really want to roll around for one of those. Alright. Is the Jank with Javelin plus Dash ability still in the game? The Jank with Javelin plus Dash. I'm not sure what that is. Sorry if I missed any chat, by the way. I'm trying to go relatively quickly in Dead Cells, but then also, like, chat's moving. Okay, so we got that. Disengage for sure. And I guess I'll take Tranquility. The range on Tranquility is actually pretty far. So I think it is trustworthy. All right. Skip promenade by spamming war javelin. I feel like you still can. Um, I think it depends on the map generation and how wide promenade is. I think you can still spam. Probably do it like right now. Like, I'm not a speedrun expert, but I assume it's something like that. What enemy drops War Javelin? No enemy. It's, um... It's a special room in Cavern. I don't think it's gonna get the cloud. Yeah, the cutscene's too long. I 
I think that could have hit me. So, the way I do this, I do a lot of midair dodge rolls. Nice. Cut down her HP a little bit. Let's see if she spins around with Wolf Trap. She does. So I think that's going to be the gameplay. You do one Gilded Yumi, then you do Bats, then you spam the Yumi. And hope that she just eats all of it. Oh my god, I didn't get the climb upward. Wow. I'm like missing sometimes. Uh, sure. It's malaise, unfortunately, which could increase the damage I take. She was getting hit. She was taking crits, actually. That's pretty impressive. Because she got hit by the bats first, and then she got knocked back into the bats. Gonna be a little sus, I think. I missed! Don't show this to GDQ, please. It's like, this is why I don't speedrun the game, because <laughs> I wouldn't have come, like gone here if I wanted to speedrun. But then I think you all would miss out on grade A entertainment. If I... Am I gonna take fire damage? Sure. My character lost all his momentum because of the uh, cutscene. Enough of that. If I could do a little bit more. Oh, 10 malaise. So we're gonna wolf trap, roll. Do I have to roll through? I just roll backwards, I think. Did my gilded Yumi go through her? No, right? No way, that's what I saw. Gonna have to heal at some point. Add the duck. Flew a little too close to the sun there. Ah! Oh. I'm over here trying to make plays. <laughs> Just give up while you're ahead. They're not gonna let you. All right, so there's that one. I'll probably use the health pot after this. I swear Gilded Yumi is like not hitting sometimes. 
this. There we go. All right. Like I said, it's 50 more hours of Gilded Yumi. Guaranteed no hits on every single boss. If you show me some streamer that has 50 hours of Gilded Yumi gameplay, I'll hit them up right now and ask for tips. Just give me the name of whoever that person is. I'm going to assume that that's the first time Gilded Yumi's ever been used in that fight. Yeah, I usually do crouch. But I, I'm not a tall guy. Short kings, here's your crown. Coming up. I thought me and the servants were the same height. Apparently they're shorter than I am. All right. Everything else is fine. The health pot's just there for protection, I'm sure. Doc Fiber has that many hours? Yeah, didn't Doc have a ton of attempts? I think that was old Gilded Yumi, though. So, I think Doc has like five videos of trying to win Gilded Yumi Showcase. Jeez, falling off. Oh, will I finally get this achievement? YouTube and Twitch chat? I do not have the achievement for knocking her off and killing her. And I've done it many times. But at some point, she gets immunity to the fall. Better not chance it. Nice interrupt. My bats! Eat that. No! Eat that. Why was my war spear down there? Isn't it supposed to come back to me? That was luck. <laughs> I'm not even gonna deny it. That was luck. Okay, we got her. Couple more. Please! I need this! I need this for an achievement! Get back over there. <laughs> <laughs> she won't. Okay. No! I can't get this achievement to save my life, literally. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> it's probably easier to do with Spartan Sandals. You could use both Gilded Yumi and Spartan Sandals. Um... But, like, she just... She learned. She has active chat GPT AI. You could see that she would, like, never go to the right side of the arena anymore. She would only stay left. I had to, like, put down a wolf trap and then try to, like, go to the other side. And then by then, she was already too low. Not taking fall damage at that point. Oh, so it was cursed to begin with. Got the achievement for doing the parry. You're right. I could have swapped the knockback shield. Because this acrobatic pack, it would have done, like, negative damage. Wow. Um, so that was, as you all saw, a two-fold run. Curse incentive. This is not out yet. The update is still in beta. Hopefully it will be up by the end of January, I hope. Um, this is the skull. The skull areas give you extra chance for curses, higher level gear, and then new monsters that spawn in that area. Um, those will give you curse. So, a lot more curses. 
There's also the new heads. Right now, we're using the fancy glitch head along with old faithful Hand of the King drip. Very cool update. I hope you all get this very soon. But that's actually the end of this Dead Cell segment, which is going to be the end of our YouTube live segment. Uh, for those of you over on YouTube, you are more than welcome to join us over on Twitch. We're going to do some tiny rogues in just a little bit. You can see me. I'm putting my, my link in the wrong chat. You can join in here. Um, otherwise, if you enjoy Dead Cells, subscribe to the channel. I post Dead Cells stuff almost every week. Rogue likes all the time. New ones coming up in January. Going to be a very good time for us. Either way, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next video. So, how do I end the YouTube live? All right, I found it. Crap!